iLight's Rocket One. Although many conceptual models are criticized for rarely making it to production, but how else are manufacturers supposed to make headlines and excite the common folk about the newest inventions? The French iLights company is not a new name in the motorcycling industry. The company has been developing a smart heads-up display for motorcycle helmets for almost a decade now. The brand's first motorcycle elevates the heads-up display experience to new levels and develops an unseen-before augmented reality. On the motorcycling side of things, the Rocket One gets an attention-grabbing design with Neo Cafe Racer influences, smooth bodywork, and a bold lighting signature with a massive round LED headlamp, and an oval rear light with an illuminated logo in the middle. The mid-mounted motor peaks at 134.2 kilowatts, putting out 885 pound-feet of torque at the rear wheel. With this output, the initial acceleration of 60 miles per hour is projected at 2.6 seconds, while the claimed range is announced at 248 miles. Curtis Motorcycles 1 and Core 60 Speedster. If we had to speak in terms of cars, then this product offers Bentley levels of luxury, Rolls-Royce like attention to detail in making bespoke designs, and instant acceleration worthy of Tesla's ludicrous mode. The one by the Alabama Curtis Motorcycles is exclusively produced in low numbers, offers lots of proprietary tech, and boasts the highest end components. The futuristic exterior of the bike tastefully mixes polished metal, leather, and carbon fiber, but every buyer is welcome to add a personal touch. The Muscle e-bike is built on the company-developed triple load path, Monocue, where the battery acts as a structural element and a load-bearing member. The suspension features modular carbon fiber girders and fully adjustable monoshocks. The bike's 16.8 kilowatt hour pack feeds the most energy-dense motor on the market. It's able to produce 159 kilowatts and 272 pound-feet, though continuous output is restricted to 89 kilowatts and 147 pound-feet peak output. Finally, the brand has recently teased the upcoming Core 60 Speedster bike that will blend bold design choices with a raw power output that many expect from a true American motorcycle. White Motorcycle Concepts WMCSRS It's common for motorcycle manufacturers to look for new ways to increase power yields and lower energy consumption. While many are still trying to make a breakthrough in engine construction, the UK-based White Motorcycles Concepts is trying to solve this issue through extreme aerodynamics. Several years ago, the company developed and patented the V-Duct design that reduces motorcycle drag by 70%, thus improving the efficiency and range. This year, they partnered with Zero Motorcycles to produce the WMCSRS. The cooperation with America's best e-motorcycle company resulted in a modified Zero SRS. Now it features an aerodynamic duct running through the middle. With a stock powertrain, brakes, and suspension system, the modified Zero SRS reportedly gained 10% in aerodynamic efficiency while lowering the weight. Falante Motors Torque Falante Motors is an Italian company that has recently gotten into the business of developing compact electric transport. To spice up their exhibition stand at the latest Milan Motor Show, they reached out to Da Vinci Motorcycles, the creators of one of the most alien-looking e-motorcycles of our time. Their collaboration yielded a one-off model called the Falante Torque. This bespoke creation incorporates carbon fiber, fiber ceramics, and leather elements. It's also decorated with precious metals like titanium, platinum, and gold. In terms of performance, the newcomer inherited the Da Vinci powertrain with 626 pound-feet of torque at the wheel, a 2.9 second time needed to reach 62 miles per hour, and the range reserves estimated at 249 miles.
Honda Fun EV Honda's current electrified two-wheeler lineup is represented by a single-city scooter. However, according to the company's execs, the brand's 2030 EV ambitions reach much farther. To back up this claim and preview upcoming two-wheelers, Honda unveiled two conceptual models at this year's EICMA show floor, a middleweight motorcycle and a futuristic maxi scooter. The EV Fun will offer performance specifications comparable to modern mid-size ice bikes by Honda, but the range is claimed to be at least 60 miles from a fixed battery pack. We do hope that this is a mistake and we'll be able to travel much further without looking for a plug. Externally, the EV Fun boasts a two-tone monochrome design and visible single-sided swing arm, a mid-motor layout with a bell drive, an inverted front fork suspension, and radial front brake calipers. This sporty two-wheeler will also support CCS2 quick charging. Atelier Heritage Bike Spirit Scrambler The two-wheeler is based on a black tubular frame and has a round vintage headlight, a large faux fuel tank, an elongated bench seat, and a set of knobby tires. The Spirit Scrambler offers specifications similar to the 125cc class. The available 7kW rear hub motor can generate 206 pound-feet of torque and enable 80 mph speeds. The motor is paired to a 48-volt battery pack with 5.5 kilowatt hours of capacity. One full charge will reportedly give you up to 60 miles of riding. In a recent collaboration with Renault, the 10-unit limited edition bike called R4 Scrambler was created. This bike sports a neo-retro design inspired by the iconic Renault R4 car that was popular in the 1960s. Unlike the standard bike, the R4 Scrambler has a bold look with a light blue color scheme, knobby Hibernau tires, a revised lighting structure, and unique seat materials. Droog E-Fighter Ultra Ligero Droog Moto once again proves a reputation of a custom builder that employs dark color schemes, rugged looks with angular body lines, and deep tread tires on aero disc wheels. The new Droog E-Fighter Ultra Ligero prioritizes weight savings, hence the name that it's translated from Spanish as Ultralight. For the build, Droog Moto used the latest generation Zero motorcycle powertrain a lightweight bodywork with a new LED lighting signature, and many other styling components like bar-end mirrors. The agile riding comes courtesy of a mid-drive motor with a 34 kilowatt and 80 pound-feet output reading. To ensure 60 miles of highway riding and minimize range anxiety in the city, the bike uses a 7.2 kilowatt hour battery. DAV 1 Alpha With 291 pound-feet of wheel torque, the model offers quick acceleration with a top speed of 80 miles per hour. The mid-mounted motor is paired with a Gates carbon drive to transfer 11 kilowatts of nominal and 25.5 kilowatts of peak output to the rear wheel. A full charge of 7.1 kilowatt hour battery brings up to 93 miles of riding. The bodywork is offered in two colors, white and gray, while the minimalist design features upcycled carbon fiber bodywork elements, an adjustable suspension fork with tin gold treatment, an LED daylight strip, a handcrafted Alcantara saddle, and a glove box. Finally, to commemorate the latest Paris Olympics and show the national dedication to high-end fashion, DAB Motorcycles presented a series of sports-inspired looks for the One Alpha bike. In total, there are five design variations dedicated to basketball, boxing, tennis, surfing, and skateboarding. Each has a unique color palette where yellow, red, green, blue, or black colors prevail and include a series of sports-inspired accessories. Kimco Revenex 
The Taiwanese motorcycle manufacturer is gradually moving towards the electrification of the product range. Its first electric scooter has had relative success on the domestic market. However, it seems that the brand is not planning on boosting its electrification efforts without a sidekick. They recently announced a partnership with the American Livewire brand and will very likely use Livewire's modular EV platform. Besides using it for scooters, Kimco is reported to use it in the eagerly awaited Revenex motorcycle. This high-performance bike features a modern cafe racer design, dubbed by the company as a mix of classic Italian elegance and modern motorcycling trends. Although technical specifications have not yet been announced, the Revenex is bound to employ the cutting-edge gearbox that the brand has had in the works for some time now. Thank you for watching till the end. Electric Mobility is developing at a breakneck speed. Give us a follow and check related videos on the screen so you don't miss the hottest newcomers and product reviews. Have a good one and see you next week.